Okay, so let's talk about comfort zones. In my personal opinion, they're kind of like eating fast food. Feels good in the short term, but in the long run, it's probably not the best thing for you. And honestly, to be completely transparent, lately I've kind of started to feel like there's some musical comfort zones I've been stepping into lately and I'm kind of ready to start breaking out of them. To do so, I'm gonna compose and perform a song that forces me to do three things musically way differently than I normally do when it comes to creating music. So, let's get uncomfortable. So the first uncomfortable thing I'm gonna do in this music project is addressing the time signature of the piece I'm gonna compose. And let's just say I've chosen one that's, we'll say, a little unsettling. And that time signature is 9-4 time. 4-4 four, four time, 3-4 time, and 6-8 time are three time signatures that I'm used to composing and as well as playing in a lot. But 9-4 time, nah, that's a whole different thing. I'm gonna use this metronome app that I have here on my phone to kind of help explain what I mean. So at 110 BPM, this is what 4-4 four, four time sounds like. 1-2-3-4-1-2-3-4-1-2-3-4-1-2-3-4-1-2-3-4-1-2-3-4-1-2-3-4-1-2-3-4-1-2-3-4-1-2-3-4-1-2-3-4-1-2-3-4-1-2-
that in and of itself in a way kind of makes it less of a comfortable instrument to play but how I'm going to be playing it is the main thing to pay attention to in this focus point. As you may know the bass often functions as playing the lower notes the foundation of the harmonic structure in a piece of music but I'm going to be flipping that concept on its head. Instead of playing the lower bass tones or the root of a lot of the chords I'm actually going to use this instrument to play the melody. So I'm going to be playing an instrument I'm the least experienced playing in a song that's 9-4 time using it in a function that it's not normally used for. That's why I was dreading this portion. Okay, so it's been a few days since I started this project and I wanna give you a little bit of an update. In the time here and there between gigs and other projects I was working on, I made sure to practice the parts that I wrote to get it sounded like something I could actually record. And after I got all the parts situated, I went ahead and scored it out here. There's some cool things I learned about myself as a musician and as a composer when going through this process. And I want to share those things with you. But before I share those with you, you of course have to hear the final product of this uncomfortable song. That's literally what I titled it. The Uncomfortable Song. I'll get more creative with my titles in the future, I promise. But yeah, here it is. So there you have it, an uncomfortable song, or the uncomfortable song. First, in order to have the bass play the melody and kind of have the phrasing and the lines stand out the way it did, I kind of had to play more in the upper register of the bass. Not super high up on the register, but higher than I normally play when I compose my songs. I found I really liked it. I'm definitely going to use that more in the future. Playing a groove in 9-8 was actually kind of fun too. And hearing that different counting, it forced me to come up with a different kind of groove and as well as different melodies on top of that. Also, I want to point out real quick, with the trumpet being in the key of B-flat, the key signature for B major literally gives you seven sharps. 
and I'm naturally a win player at heart. I like flats in my key signatures. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought about that song. Did it make you uncomfortable or did you kind of end up liking it? I know I definitely was with the challenge that I set before myself, but I ended up liking what I came up with and I never would have come up with it unless I had done things I don't normally do to compose a song. And I definitely encourage you to do something that's maybe a little out of your comfort zone. Who knows what you'll learn. And please consider subscribing if you guys want to see more of these project videos, my music videos, or any of the other kinds of music videos I do on the channel. I'll see you guys on the next one and uh, don't be afraid to get uncomfortable.